Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. How many are back for number four? Wow. I salute you. Thank you very much for coming back. Whether you're here for the first time or the fourth time, I'm grateful for you to come down and spend 45 minutes with me to talk about pirates. Anybody here been a pirate? Yep. <laughs> Usually I have lots of knowledgeable people about all of these lectures, okay? So some of you may be uh, historians or amateur historians about pirates. I'm self-taught on the subject, but I've read six books on them. And my favorite is a book called Simply the Pirates by Colin Woodward. So much of uh, what you see up here is his uh, very good retelling of what actually happened back then. And so I'm going to share with you some anecdotes about pirates and the golden age of piracy. And talk about some of the realities versus some of the fact and fiction. Uh, one of the earlier lectures, someone had said to me, uh, did Walt Disney design the pirate flag? Well, <laughs> he, he uh, actually uh, utilized it in uh, some of his movies, but no, he didn't design, design it. So we're going to talk about some of those kind of things, and uh, hopefully it'll be an interesting 45 minutes for all of you. Has anybody eaten too much on this show besides me? Oh, all right, okay, good. Anybody got too much sun and humidity besides me? Okay. You've all had a good experience then. I'm glad to see it. Uh, has anybody gambled as much as my wife has? <laughs> no, she's very good. Penny, penny machine only. Um, how about, did anybody encounter local culture and try some food from the local culture? Oh, a handful of you. Good. I appreciate you guys being adventurous. I think that's part of the allure of the islands is going to a new place and encountering a new culture. So, here's my first question. Is this representative, this... Uh, one of my friends from Missouri, my newfound friends, asked me if this was a photo of me when I'm on the island. No. <laughs> Is that representative of the, the pirates as they really were? Did no. they look like that? No. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty clean caricature there. But this whole bit about the uh, skull and crossbones and the golden earring, and that actually is a left right from a... Uh, one of the animated stills of a Disney movie, so that is fictitious, but some of it is actually based on real life. So, I mean, there were some pretty decent historians that came up with some stuff that I could share with you. And I want to tell you a little bit about how we're going to conduct this discussion between all of us. And again, I'm happy to take any questions at the end of the thing if anybody has some specific questions. Uh, hopefully, by the time you walk out of here, if you didn't know it, you'll know some facts about it. In fact, I was on a uh, on a bus ride over to Sapphire Island with a couple of people, and they said, I love the factoids that you share. And I said, well, give me one. I said, I can't remember any of them, but I love them. So <laughs> maybe I'll give you some factoids that you can utilize, all right? I also want to talk to you a little bit about the reality of life. Now, how old was the average pirate? What do you think? How old was the average pirate? 20. 20s, early 20s? That would be a good guess. How long was their life? 30. <laughs> no, that would be too long if they lived to 30. Two to three years. Two to three years, okay. And uh, how many pirates were there in the golden age of piracy? A thousand. A thousand? That's a little low. At the height, there was about 4,000 working the Caribbean. But now, everybody agree that pirates have been around a lot longer than the 1700s, 1800s, right? There's been pirates back from Greek times, okay? The Romans were worried about the, the pirates, and the Greeks were worried about the pirates. In fact, uh, you guys are familiar with the Marine Hymn, okay? The Marine Song, okay? From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Anybody know what that is? The Barbary Pirates of Tripoli. Uh, Jefferson sent uh, our Navy over there to get the uh, pirates to not attack our ships back in the early 1800s. So it's a part of US history as well as the Caribbean. Now in terms of the pirates that we're going to talk about, we are going to talk about ones that primarily sailed in the Caribbean Sea. Okay, and How do we know so much about them? Well, there was a book written by a so-called Captain Johnson, and it was published in the early 1700s the history of the pirates, and it is considered to be the Bible by all historians of that era. 
of what really did happen because there was so many factual things that could be double checked in newspapers and letters during the time. Now, this Captain Johnson was an alias, and as you can see, a lot of people thought it was written by Daniel Defoe, who went on to become famous for Robinson Crusoe. However, for those of you who study piracy, you probably know that he was not the author. Back in 1988, they found out that the publishing house that published this next door was a former pirate who was an educated Englishman, and he was now seen to be the author. Because he wanted to protect his identity, he uh, took on this alias. So he actually was writing about it from not only being educated, but having served as a pirate and survived. So that's where we know a lot about it. 